Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And today we're in the loft, well kind of in the extended loft where I have the At Games Legends Ultimate Mini Arcade Machine. And today we're going to show you how using Fightcade, you can play a whole bunch of online games against other people on your At Games Arcade family of products using their built-in OTG features and of course connecting your gaming PC or laptop to the arcade cabinet. So let's check it out and we'll show you how this works. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, we are at our At Games Legends Ultimate Mini Arcade Cabinet. This will, the steps you see here will also work on the Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine. And in fact, it'll look even better on that arcade machine because it has the 24 inch monitor versus this is about an 18 inch monitor on the Legends Ultimate Mini, which we do have in horizontal mode. Reason being, of course, is the main purpose of this with Fightcade. Although they have over 8,000 retro games available for you to play, we wanna play some fighting games, right? So the first thing we wanna do is make sure you have your PC, which we have over here. PC plugged in, turned on, and our HDMI cable plugged in. Don't mind the cables going across this way. I know it looks sloppy, but I have the tripod over here. So I got the PC over here, so we got cables going this way. Don't mind that too much. Now, of course, what you wanna do is, uh, once you uh, turn on your arcade machine, you wanna head on over to the settings and click on OTG mode. And it'll tell you to go ahead and connect your USB cable to the leftmost USB port. And again, don't mind the cables here. You could obviously hide these in better ways. This is just for the purpose of getting this set up. Once you do that, go ahead and click the HDMI button to switch to the HDMI input, and it should pull up your, um, your PC, right? And of course, with your PC or laptop, recommend having, although this is kind of dirty because I've been using this thing for years, recommend having one of these wireless uh, keyboard pads. And of course, you're gonna wanna have Fightcade already installed on your gaming PC, ready to play. And uh, if you need a tutorial on how to do it, I'll have a link to uh, Kongs R Us tutorial on how to get Fightcade set up in the video description below. It does take less than 10 minutes to get that set up. Sure enough, you just double click on the Fightcade icon on your desktop and boom, you're in. And of course, if you're not logged into your account, you're gonna wanna get logged into your account. Okay, so right here we have uh, Fightcade. Right here, we're still gonna be using our mouse and we're gonna pick a game, right? So we're gonna click on search and we're gonna find a game to play. And of course, there's over 8,000 games, tons of retro arcade games for you to play, all for free. Uh, let's just pick Marvel vs. Capcom 1. You click on join, provided you installed Fightcade correctly, it'll search for the game and get the game installed onto your PC and it'll be now over here on the left hand side you'll see i've already tested this with street fighter and mortal kombat you go ahead and you click on it and once you click on it on the top right corner you're going to see an option that says test game this is where you want to want to go first you want to click on test game and boom it takes a minute but the game will load now what we want to do is we want to set up our inputs and don't worry about the screen i'll show you something really cool with that so let's click on our inputs and what we wanna do is that when we click on inputs, I'm gonna go ahead and mute the arcade machine right here. Now it says here we wanna map our game inputs, so we're gonna click on that, and it'll tell you what inputs you wanna map. So for instance, all you have to do is double click on it. So this is the player one coin button, double click on it. This little box will pop up when you see that box pop up. So I'm gonna use the rewind button on my control deck and you'll notice it says joy zero button eight so it did identify the control deck via otg mode and we're good to go you do have to do this for every game that you're going to play because keep in mind all these fighting games they have different button setups depending on the system you know king of fighters mortal kombat street fighter they all have different layouts so here's your start button and then for your going up up on the up on the joypad on the joystick, down, and of course, remember, you're just double clicking each of these options, click left, go ahead right here, click right. Now remember with, uh, like let's say for instance, your uh, Street Fighter games, as you guys know, you have punch on top, kick on the bottom, 
weak, medium, uh, fierce, weak, medium, fierce kick. So we just want to map our punch buttons and kick buttons accordingly for playing Street Fighter type games. So when it comes to our weak punch, we're going to hit X. When it comes to our medium punch, we're going to hit Y. When it comes to our strong punch, we're going to hit Z. When it comes to our weak kick, that's A. When it comes to our medium kick, that's B. Strong kick, C. Now you'll notice right here, it'll start telling you, hey, do you want to start mapping controls for player two? You're going to follow the exact same steps if you're doing this on the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, the larger arcade machine, to get two players up and running. But once you're done, click on OK, and you're still in the test menu, so recommend you hit the coin button. And it worked. We got our coins inserted, so of course we want to play. Now, you can play on this screen if you wanted, but if you go ahead and you maximize it, it'll keep the game in its proper aspect ratio, even though you're playing on, in this case, a 16-9 monitor, which is really cool. The game's not going to get stretched. Go ahead and hit your start button, and boom, you are ready to play. And of course, we're under the test, so I'm just, I'm just going to click through this here because we're, all we're doing is testing. And boom, as you can see, it works. Whoa! Okay, so right here I, uh, I switched over to the Street Fighter 2, went ahead and um, challenged um, a fighter on Street Fighter 2, first the 3. And boom, here we go. Let's go ahead and maximize our window. I have to move this slightly, guys. No, he got me. No, he got me again. He got me three times with that. Oh, ho, ho, I should have gone for the low kick. Now, the coolest thing about this, in my opinion, is obviously playing the online fighting games, but they have thousands of retro games available for you to play online with friends. So let's pick a beat em up game. Let's see if we can find someone to play with us a, a beat em up game if we wanted. And just kind of like what Jim Carrey said in one of my favorite movies, The Cable Guy, we are playing bad dudes with a friend in Vietnam. I'm kidding, I don't know what country this guy's from. It could be in Florida for all I know. Either way, this is for Michael B. the Game Genie. Take a look, buddy. We can play some online bad dudes co-op gaming together. Totally cool, totally awesome. This is really neat. And of course, if you see any kind of frame skipping right there, that is because I am have both the Ultimate Arcade or the Legends Ultimate Mini and my PC connected to Wi-Fi here in the loft. Definitely for the best experience possible. Make sure your PC and your arcade machine and all that kinds of stuff is hooked up via Ethernet whenever you're using Fightcade uh, for the best possible experience. Either way, I think this is awesome, but I want to know what you guys think. This just adds even more value to OTG mode with the At Games Legends Arcade family of products. We'll definitely be able to get in on the online fighting action. Let me know what your feedback and reactions are in the comments section after the video is over. And if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, guys. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.